Good morning. I'm demonstrating in a few short, simple videos the various secondary glazing models that we offer. Um, this is a vertical slider. It's the basic vertical slider in that it's manually operated. And the way it works is there are two handles, catches, clips, whatever you want to call them, here. You put them in and you drop the unit down on a series of blocks. So you have a block here and a block here and then you have more blocks obviously depending on the height of the unit there are only two on this one because it's a very very small demonstration model depending on the height you'd have more blocks. Equally the bottom does the same. We don't recommend this model for commercial applications. Um, the reason we don't recommend it for commercial applications, I've just demonstrated. I didn't engage the clips correctly, so I was too busy talking. And potentially, if we had a unit that might slam down, at best cause damage to the unit, at worst cause damage to the people operating it. Now when we say commercial applications, guest houses, schools, offices, hotels, anything like that. If it's in your own house, you can demonstrate it quite easy, easily to the members of your household. If it's in a hotel or an office, you can't demonstrate it to everybody that visits the hotel, visits the guest house. Um, so it's not really recommended. Where it is recommended is for windows that you rarely open. Um, small windows and windows that you rarely open. Now, by small windows, can you imagine, you know, if you, if you have a lot of weight here, let's say a six foot by four foot window, um, four foot wide, six foot high, well, I would probably have no difficulty um, operating that, but you know, not everybody would be able to operate it. You are taking, bear in mind this is a small unit, you are taking the weight of the glass, of the sliding sash, you are taking it yourself. Um, so that's the basic vertical slider. Advantages to it are that you can drop the unit down quite substantial. But you can't do that with the next model I'm going to show you. Um, so, you know, there are advantages to the product, there are disadvantages. <coughs> Excuse me, if you're less than 800 millimeters from the ground floor, so from your carpet to the bottom of your window, if you're less than 800 millimeters, this is explained on our website, you have to have tough and safety glass. Now the reason I mentioned that is because a lot of people, glaziers included, think you just have to have it in one pane. But you don't. According to FENSA, and we have got a ruling on this, according to FENSA, according to the Glass and Glazing Federation, to comply with building regulations, which you must comply with, you need to have tough and safety glass in both panels, and that applies to all vertical sliding units. A vertical slider is fairly obvious, it's fairly apparent, as a unit that goes up and down. You would be amazed at the number of people who inquire about a vertical slider and they actually want a horizontal slider, a unit that goes from side to side and vice versa. Um, I'm not quite sure how they make that error, but it is a common error that's made. We'll move on to the next uh, model. We're now demonstrating a balanced vertical sliding unit. Now this unit is very small as you can see, it's purely for demonstration purposes. Um, so it's difficult to get, it's a spiral balance, like a clutch you might call it. Uh, it's difficult to get one that only takes such a small weight and you wouldn't normally do a small unit as a balanced vertical slider, you would do it as the, the manual that I mentioned previously. Um, now it does make a 
considerable amount of noise in, in its operation. But that noise, which sounds like metal on metal, isn't. It's actually the clutch mechanism, the spring balance. Um, as you can see there, very, very easy to operate, very easy. Both panels slide, as they do on all of the vertical sliders. Um, recommended for large units, recommended for units that you open regularly, um, and definitely recommended for commercial applications. You don't need to give anybody instructions how to do that. You can see how easy that works. Now once again, the sound does give the impression it's metal on metal. It isn't. All of the units are fully draft proofed, fully sealed. Um, it is purely the clutch mechanism. And as units get bigger, I'll demonstrate on a large unit shortly, as units get bigger, um, there's less of a noise. So that's the balanced vertical sliding unit. People tend to use these sorts of um, units with um, sash windows. And also, where you've got a small opening window, for example, a bathroom, so you'll have a small opening window and the fixed light below. Well, then we can do these offset. They don't have to be 50 50. You know, the split can be anywhere. So um, you would use this unit in that um, position as well. We now move on to the another balanced vertical slider. But this time, this unit has um, a, a unique feature. It works in exactly the same way as the last one vertical slider I showed you, except this one tilts in for washing or for easier access to your existing window. Now it's operated as you saw, you pull in these clips, disengage them, locks it. This unit, once again, we don't recommend for excuse me, commercial applications um, for the same reasons as we don't recommend the basic vertical slider it's tricky to operate if you don't know how to do it and potentially you know, somebody who doesn't know how to do it a guest in the hotel, some an office worker could have an accident, so it's not recommended uh, for commercial applications, much as we would like to we're trying to talk sense to people uh, as opposed to <coughs> excuse me and the top one obviously does exactly the same by engaging these clips um, we're trying to talk sensibly to people rather than upsell and try and sell you products that um, that whilst they may cost more and obviously we make more profit on it they're not suitable for the, for the job in hand I'll demonstrate a, a slightly larger unit um, on our uh, exhibition.